we moved into a haunted house recently. Well, my mother moved into a haunted house and I have a studio here. And all of a sudden I heard an elderly lady go, who's that dear? I know that there's negative spirits in this house. I felt them. We heard them this morning. Um, it likes to mess with you while you're sleeping. The knocking um, became so persistent. It was, it's on a daily basis now. Where did this photo come from? I just moved all my stuff in. I cleaned everywhere. I swept. I washed floors. I dusted when I first came in here. No one's lived in here. <coughs> That this is a three dollar nun she bought at uh, Par Parafest. Like at the, a while uh, ago. On sale in the back. Um, something just got thrown at me and something just moved behind me, you guys. I can't see anything anymore. Uh, she's There's something the sitting in the on the top of the stairs. Oh. All the cupboards are open. Yeah. dark black magic yeah kind of some stuff. doors were open somehow this is the original foundation to an old structure an old home that used to be here on the property and i definitely feel like there was some sort of summoning they were trying to bring something forth so you have scratches on your neck do i yeah right one two three So when we first moved into the house, um, you were witness to it. My, our friend Mike that's here joining us tonight uh, was witness to it. Um, and you hear this guttural, and it doesn't sound like human voice talking. It sounds more like a creature talking. Um, and it said, you know, get out and um, don't play with me. I remember it saying that to us, don't play with me, like it was threatening. So this creature will talk from you from under the stairs and um, what the last thing that it actually did say to us, don't mess with me, is what it said. Um, so anyway, of course, we don't listen. Um, we did kick the damn thing out of the house and I keep getting the chimney, things are coming and going out of the chimney is what I'm getting. And it's funny because when we first moved in, they had one of those old metal inserts that you usually put into the, the stovepipe area where it normally would go into the chimney. And that was in there, but it was so rusted out that when I touched it, it just fell apart in my hands. So now we have this exposed hole that where you can actually look into the chimney and quite creepy when you're going up the stairs. So we makeshift um, paper plates just to get us by. Um, I put holy oil on it, did the cross on it. We put it over the hole with the cross facing inward and then we duct taped it. The very next morning we got up, it was actually um, totally off. The hole was exposed again. But the weird thing is, is that the hole is on the side of the chimney. So here's the stairs, here's the chimney. So if it fell off, naturally it would have landed on the stairs itself and it didn't it actually was up on the landing which the landing is actually behind the chimney so there's no way if you want to get into the technicality of it physics it wouldn't have gone hey i'm gonna fall nope i'm gonna go back to the landing you know and that's just exactly what it did so what we did was is we've retaped it up and this time i ran the duct tape from the drywall thinking it would have more you know more stability. stickiness stability to it and then wrapped it around the chimney over the over the plate um, thinking I know it's been very humid and stuff I'd figured it probably at least last a week or something until I can get makeshift something else to go in its place didn't even last the night we woke up the next morning and it's and, and the funny thing is is that the tape was still attached to the drywall 
where I said, you know, felt that it would be more stable. Mm -hmm. But the plate itself was down on the ground, so like something ripped the plate off the tape itself, and the tape was just hanging. Because you can actually see where I pulled the tape off and the drywall mm -hmm. ripped back with it. So um, the next day, uh, you guys visited. Uh, Brandon had a salad, and we ended up eating the salad, and so I took the metal part of the plate, uh, the, the tin, and I cut it out and I crammed it in the hole, but I didn't feel that that was enough. Um, and then I noticed when I was out walking the property the other day, um, I ran across some chicken wire, so I went out and I cut a piece of chicken wire and then I crammed it in. So in order for it to push it out, the wire now is kind of cutting into the bricks, so it can't just nonchalantly just get knocked out. Um, but so this is my take on this creature. We kicked it out of the house. We have not heard it talk to us from under the stairs. We haven't heard its creepy little voice anywhere in the house. Um, and now this hole is reestablished. And now last night we heard it again for the first time. It's back in the house again. So what I think is it came back down the chimney, punched through the hole, and now it saw that as an entry into the house again. So I came over yesterday, um, we planned on doing a stream, and this was of course uh, last night. And before we streamed, we were having a conversation outside and I had my drone going, so we decided to fly up over the roof for no apparent reason, honestly, we were just messing around. And then we, we just decided, Mom and I, we were like, well, let's fly over the chimney and see what's down there. Wouldn't that be creepy if something was in the chimney? So I actually have drone footage of us doing that and filming the chimney. And then after the events of the stream last night, clearly something came in that way. Um, so it's just kind of coincidental that we filmed the chimney before that. But another thing is... is I experienced last night for the first time the sound of something crawling on the roof. Look at this. What? Look. It looks, looks like, like someone a bear was barefoot, barefoot Look, and came up from my the basement. Yeah, like, someone was like a wet, muddy footprint with bare feet. It's, a it's almost like someone was in the basement. Look. Oh, wow. It, it looks like, like a footprint. It's a muddy footprint. Yeah, it's a at all. And so it like goes from here to here. Yeah. That's, uh, it looks like a like an eight to nine foot. year old child. Yeah, I was going to say like about ten ish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely a foot. Delia, Mum is taking pictures of the apparition foot. You're not helping. You literally see all the smoke in the brain. Candle swinging. Oh yeah. Swinging. Yep. What was that? And that's not from me walking. No, they never swing unless See? something deliberately touches them. You right. can literally stomp. Yeah. When we went upstairs earlier, we tried to capture it, but the clown doll was playing on its own while we were upstairs. So we all just came back down the stairs from doing cleansing and we have a crayon on the floor. So after we all went downstairs and clearly there was no writing on the wall at all, we came back to the bottom of the stairs and realized that there was a crayon down on the floor. And then all of a sudden we have all this writing going down the entire stairwell all the way up here we've got 
right in here. And then there's a blue crayon that showed up on the ceiling that says get out with like a weird symbol. So we thought that was interesting. So what's really weird about what's been going on here is we turn around and there's writing on the walls and weird things happen, but this room that I'm in now, my mom's bedroom, one morning, it was right after we did the live stream, I was laying in this bed and my right ankle was uncovered by the covers. And all of a sudden something, and this was like at 3 o'clock in the morning because they had come out and gotten me because they were hearing walking upstairs. So I came in to sleep in their bed with them. So it was all three of us in bed. And something literally grabbed my ankle and started pulling me out of the bed. And the next day my ankle swelled all up. It was all red. It was super sore. Um, and I wasn't here at the time, so I didn't document that part of it. But I tell you guys, I was limping around for like almost a week um, because of the pain in my ankle from that. So just a lot of weird, weird stuff going on. And um, the latest thing that we've been having is cackling, like a weird, almost sounds like a Halloween witch kind of cackle. Um, in random parts of the house and we know it's not each other because we're all staring at each other when it's happening so um, yeah and I was actually we were doing the live stream um, and we were looking for gear that has gone missing because we've had things go missing in the house and after the live stream was finished we were sitting down on the couch and I was just reviewing the live stream and everything to see um, the activity and all of a sudden my nose just started bleeding like randomly it was just a weird time for it to start so just thought that was interesting now you guys have if you guys have been following us on like social media and stuff you guys have seen that we actually found the grave that was on the property at least one of the graves um, it was actually buried under a bunch of leaves and sediment and we were raking and stuff we actually came across a little grave um, and just things just keep becoming uncovered and more details keep coming weird activity keeps happening we actually have a crazy storm rolling in right now so we just shut all the windows and we're readying ourselves for this potential hurricane kind of storm we got going on so yeah I think that this storm might amp up the activity in the house tonight so I'm hoping we don't lose power so we were doing a house cleansing slash exorcism the other night and we had a brick up here on that glass table that's right behind you. Um, it's a half a brick, it's not a whole brick. And afterwards I felt funky energy coming off of it so I felt it didn't need to be in here. Um, so I took it out because the idea was is I know stuff's coming and going out of the chimney. I hear it on the roof at night. I think it was like a piece of the chimney <laughs> kind of to mock us or something. I don't know. So anyway, I took the brick out of the house. I walked it to the edge of the property and there's a little banking there and I just rolled it over the hill so it was off the property right before the road. That was the end of story. So I went out back today, um, you know, watching the skies waiting for that great storm. And as I was sitting out back there, um, I was sitting on a bench and I noticed the rooftop up here that's above us on the porch. And I looked and lo and behold, there is the half brick on top of the porch. So my question to you is, one, how did it get there? Two, I walked to the edge of the property and looked over in the banking to actually make sure that the brick was still there and guess what, it, it wasn't there. So I know it's the same dang brick. So from there we proceeded to get two very, very long sticks and we nailed and duct taped them together. 
uh, Shane, which we probably shouldn't because everything seems to be targeted at Shane, but Shane decided to go fishing for the brick off the top of the roof because I know it doesn't have good energy on it and we're sit here most of the time in this room and I don't need that leaching into here. Now all of a sudden the brick that we threw off the property line is randomly sitting on the freaking roof. We just found it because we were walking back from where the grave is over this way and we noticed that the brick is literally up there on the freaking roof. What the heck? So anyway, Shane got up there on a stool, got it off, and the brick rolled down and we're yelling at Shane to duck. And Shane ducked just in time. It was going to hit him on the head. Instead, it took out his shoulder. He's fine. Um, so anyway, he avoided a concussion. Yay, Shane! So, anyway, now we have the brick. I walked it out to the grave that we actually found in the woods. And I placed it in front of the grave. Looking for something spooky to watch? Click on one of the videos above. And don't forget to subscribe to become a spookster and like the video.